Hey guys, sorry, um, my internet must have crashed. Let me just invite everyone back so they, no one thinks I've left for good. Just one moment. So I believe what I was saying, hold on, um, is to troll the events page, the events tab on Facebook because you would be surprised what pops up there. Um, and like I said, just send the event coordinator a message. Hey, was wondering if I could set up a Sensi table. Um, because you'd be surprised at the answer sometimes. So, hey guys, sorry about that. Um, thanks for popping back on. So yeah, uh, my last little tip there about... Okay, sorry, Nathan was calling me. I don't even understand how because I don't get cell service down here. But um, this is a Trading Tuesday full of distractions. And I apologize because I feel like you guys might be offended by that. But don't worry. This is my squirrel moment coming out. It was bound to happen at some point. Um, troll your events tab. Your events tab on Facebook has so many goodies and we don't even know about it. So check it out. See what's local. Send the organizers a message and just say, hey, I'm a local Sensi consultant. I'd love to come out and set up a table. Let me know what you think. Okay? So then... Now you've reached out to people, you have um, an event plan, you have a planner to keep yourself organized because I'm telling you guys, if you're actually looking at starting this legitimately with shows, um, even shows, parties, anything, you need to be organized. You need to know what's on the go. You can't show up an hour late. You can't be all frazzled and confused. Like it doesn't look good on us as Sensi consultants. So you need to get a planner or you need to use the planner in your phone really well and stick to it um, and be organized. So I have the Scentsy planner that's in the family store. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, last year I had a happy planner from Michael's and then, um, this, like the beginning of this year, I had the Scentsy director one specific somebody made and only, um, offered to directors, but literally any planner, even a planner from the dollar store will do. Um, and you need to put like when each show is, what time you need to be there. Do you need to bring a table? Do you need to bring, well, you need to bring extension cords regardless, but will you have power? Like all of these things you should have, you should know, and you should have them written in your planner so that on the day of there's no surprises. Um, my advice is always pack for what you might have because you don't know um, when you don't know what you'll need. Like, honestly, you don't, you don't know what you'll need. You don't know what'll happen. Like there's so many different things that could go wrong. And like, for the most part, it's normally good. Like I've done a lot of events, all of my events or most of, sorry, my sensi business has been built on events. So I do a lot, but like, and I'll tell you the worst that's ever happened was my husband and I, we signed up to do the Mac and cheese festival here in Orangeville, the Dufferin Mac and cheese fest. And, um, when we left at like 8 a.m., 9 a.m., the weather looked okay. Um, I mean, it wasn't anything that we were like, yeah, we're going to go sunbathe, but like it was okay. Uh, and then all of a sudden we had just set up, perfectly set up. I said to Nathan, Nathan, I sent him home, but he actually went and got me Tim Hortons. So I sent him home and I finished setting up. And then he came back with the Tim Hortons and he said to me, you know, it's looking kind of dark over Orangeville. I said, well, don't worry. You can go home. You're only five minutes away. And if anything happens, you can just zip over and pick me up and it'll be fine. Well, about, so I sent him on his way. And then he calls me maybe like halfway through the drive. It's maybe a 10 minute drive. He calls me halfway through. And he's like, you know what? I'm turning around. The clouds are really, really dark. And, I, and I'm looking at the horizon and I'm in the middle of a field with other people in tents. And I'm like, yeah. I think you need to turn back. So he, he comes and literally within five minutes of him being there, we had insane lightning, insane thunder. The skies opened up, the wind picked up. Like it was so dangerous. My, um, we had, there's a lady who sells chocolate and, um, she's at a lot of the events that I do and I'm addicted to her stuff. And, uh, I looked over and she's hiding under her table like curled up in a ball hiding under her table. Her tent was gone. Um, Nathan, so I had just covered all of my display with um, my Scentsy blanket that I had there. Thankfully, because um, Nathan was holding the tent up because it was collapsing in from the top. And I was just trying to make sure that nothing fell. And I was also trying to pack things up because of how intense it was. And we didn't know when it was going to stop. So I was trying to get things in basket so we get it in the truck and get the hell out of there. Um... 
So it ended like maybe 10, 15 minutes later. It felt like forever. And uh, the organizer came up to us and was like, wow, are you guys okay? And we were pretty shocked. Like, And the lady even beside us tried to grab the metal of her tent in the middle of a huge like lightning strike. And I was like, you might not want to do that. Like Nathan said he could feel the electricity um, going through the tent through his back because his back like the tent had collapsed in on his back and he could feel the electricity through the tent so it was crazy but nothing got ruined I left everything out to dry all my boxes were soaked I just left them out on tables in my basement to dry um and like three days later I packed it all up and it was fine but that's like the worst that I've ever had happen but you still need to be prepared because someone could ask you a question about something you need to be able to answer it um all that kind of stuff uh you might be not as close to an ex to a cord as you or to a sorry a plug-in as you thought so now you have to make sure you have a long extension cord you have to make sure you have duct tape to secure it to the ground um so make a list make a list of everything that you need whether it be tablecloths um tablecloths tape pens order forms make the list and uh, when you're packing to before you leave make sure you check it because you need all that stuff like once you're out there you're out there you can't go back to your office and grab it so you have to make sure that you have what you need um bags for people to take their purchases in you have to think ahead of that kind of stuff if you're planning on selling stock now here's another thing to sell stock or to not sell stock like i said when i began doing um, when I began doing markets, I didn't have a lot of stock. I just had my shooting star kit. So I sold off some of the warmers in my shooting star kit. Um, but I had a handful of bars. I had a, like really not many, uh, circles or anything. So what I would do is you always have to have bulbs. Like to be honest, to do a market, you need to have bulbs in stock because people will ask you all the time. It's the first thing they think of. Oh my God. Yeah. I forgot my Sensi bulbs been out forever. Do you have one? Um, so have bulbs in stock, but all the other stuff is honestly like, you can fill the table with your testers and people will come over and they'll start sniffing your testers. And then that's when you can kind of put in that little mention of how you are placing an order and if they would like anything to contact you and you know, that kind of stuff, or we can do that order right here, right now, get that all set up for you. Um, and when it comes in, I will deliver it to your home. Um, so doing things like that is also an option if you don't have stock. Don't think that you have to put a whole bunch of money into stock to start doing markets because you don't. Um, when I built my stock, it's mostly on half price and credit items. And then when I go to a market, I sell it at full price, but with no shipping and no taxes. Um, so yes, I am making a bit off of it, but I'm also turning around and putting that back into stock for the most part, right? So that's something that you have to think about. If you're going to start stocking up on free and half price items, eventually you'll have to replenish that stock. Like my soccer day wiped out half of my bar stash. So for me to go and replace it at free or half price just isn't feasible so I'm gonna have to place a couple six pack orders but it's not the end of the world because of what I made that day right so that's how you have to think about it now when you do an event especially if you're selling stock you need to put away your proceeds from it to restock right like at least a percentage of them so keep that in mind as well if you're walking away with $400 it's not $400 cash what are you gonna put back into stock what did you pay for the stock that you sold etc right um so social media. So if you have a page, an actual Facebook page, you can, um, you can add the event to your page so people can see where you're going to be. Um, I know Tiff, I'm sorry. This is my internet. I hope it's okay. Uh, if not, I'll be posting the recording. So hopefully that one will be okay. But um, so adding your, the event. Now this is something you can only do on the computer or you can put it on, uh, like desktop mode on your tablet or on your phone and you should be able to do it as well. Um, but you add the event to your Sensi page and doing that will, uh, make, show everybody that you're going to be there. And also if you, people have liked your page, it'll say that, a, you know, Brittany Butler, independent Sensi consultant will be at an event near you this weekend, right? So it'll put it in your events or in your notifications and you'll be more likely to see it. Um, you also want, depending on the event now, <coughs> sorry guys. Now, depending on the event, if it's a private event, 
uh, where you have to buy tickets, you can show off the event link before and try and get people to buy tickets before to help the promoters sell tickets, right? Um, if it's a public event, share the week before in local groups and say, hey, I'm going to be here. I'll have some cash and carry. Make sure to stop by. Now, remember, compliance-wise, we can't post pictures of our table if it has more than 10 um, or a picture of more than 10 items or more. So that's why I do like those little close-up shots with the nightlight and the buddy or whatever. Um, and you also can't post, you know, that you, like all of your stock and say, hey, come by and, and buy all this stock. This is a list of what I have. You can say that you will have cash and carry available. That's fine. Um, so be also just some etiquette, like trade show etiquette as a vendor. You want to be a good vendor. You want to be invited back to these um, events and opportunities. So you want to kind of make sure that you introduce yourself when you get there to the event coordinator say hi my name is you know whatever and I'm your sensi consultant now what do you wear to a trade show I try and stay professional um, as professional as I can be um, because you want to look you want you're representing yourself and you're representing your company and you want to look appropriate right um, you want to sensi it up as much as you can I always have my sensi coffee mug my sensi water bottle um, when I walk in people are like oh you're the sensi lady right like they know and that's what you want um, so yeah, just make sure that you introduce yourself to the organizer Wait, before you leave, make sure you say goodbye and say thank you and say, you know, I'd love to come out to this event next year. That's how you create bookings for every year. Um, make the, and all these things like sharing it on social media, that kind of stuff shows the promoters that you're really interested in it and they're more likely to invite you back next year. Um, same thing, make sure that you're standing in front of your table at the event, that you're smiling and you're saying hello to people. Don't be behind the table on your phone because that's not going to get you anywhere. No one's going to stop and talk to you. Uh, people are just going to walk right by because you're on your phone and you look busy. So make sure that you are in front of your table, that you're smiling and you're talking to people. You're inviting them in to look at all your products, you know, um, just being friendly in general. If people are wanting to look only, say, that's okay, feel free to sniff. Um, I get people all the time who are like, oh, I already have a Sensi Consult. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Well, you can take this sample and check out this, you know, whatever. Check out this product sheet I'm giving you. And if you like it, get in touch with your consultant. So that way you're not being p pushy, uh, but your information is still getting in their hands. And who knows if they'll find it in their kitchen drawer or whatever two, two years later, right? Um, so there's a lot of leads that don't immediately pay off. So don't be discouraged if you have a whole bunch of leads and then you don't get anything from it because they will come back to you. Um, they always do. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Make sure you're early to set up. You tear down as quickly as you can and you um, just try and be as polite and as friendly as you can, even if you're having the world's worst day. I've gone to trade shows and been grumpy and been like PMSing and sore and crampy and, you know, or I've had a fight with Nathan and then I've had to go to a trade show and I've just been pissed. But you know what? You got to go in there with a smile and you nine times out of 10, you will have a, like a, be a happier person by the end of it because you've been doing what you love and you've been sharing what you love um, and you won't be so grumpy by the end because honestly... I find at least that when I'm talking about Sensi and when I'm touching Sensi and I'm getting people to smell it and I'm, you know, showing it off, that I am in a better mood than, you know, before. Or it gets my mind off of whatever I was stewing about. So, um, yeah, that's really all I have for events. This is a short one because I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm saying with this these internet uh, problems. So, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you have an idea for the next Trading Tuesday, shout it out. And yeah, you guys have a fantabulous night. I am off to continue labeling these Sensi bars and then putting all the orders together. Maybe I'll pop on a live later tonight and show you, or I'll record it and post it maybe so that it's not so, um, 